Thank That's you. a nail. And hello, everyone. Uh, Welcome to another episode of Squad Ops. Piece. This time, Operation Metal Monsters yeah. for your Expert spooky Halloween around. op fest. So just keep I don't know what to call it. it. Yeah. Scary it Ops. First this off. one's going to feature these Only because I noticed scary, the not tanks, like MTLBs. I'm Tedish. I'll be your commentator for the night, for the evening for this op. Uh, if you're new to us, this is Squad Ops. Check us out on squadops.gg. Fantastic website. We run one life scenarios here. Um, what do we got? Just about, no, absolutely full op tonight. We got a full server here, plenty on the wait list. Uh, one life scenario. So you come in, you. You do your thing, you die, and uh, then you get to watch from above, which sometimes might be more fun than actually playing in it, because you get to see exactly what happened to you and what everyone else is doing. But, uh, let's see, so you guys heard the briefing on the U.S. side here. Looks like the Russians are starting to get their stuff together. Dermo has the most hilarious laugh. You can pick him out from a mile away. Anyways, uh, the Russians should be doing their brief soon, but let's go over the op real quick before they do. Uh, this is kind of, it's not a complicated op, but it's got a couple moving parts in it. So here's a little overlay. So the assets for the teams are a little bit complicated, but not too bad. So basic fire, basic uh, squads for the U.S. get two AR, two LATs, one medic. Russia is similar, except they get the one GL added in there. Um, the U.S. are on defense on this one. So they have Two Logi trucks, two transport trucks, two open top Humvees, and one Crow Humvee. They also have an AT team, an anti tank team, which we'll go into in a second. For Russia have five, count them, five MTLBs and two transport trucks, hence the metal monsters, right? We go to the second page here, it'll show you the map of what's going on. Um, so, US is on defense, they get to pick where they're, where they're starting out in those four squares in the northeast. Uh, the Russia start at Maine, and then the U.S. also get to start that anti-tank team down in the southwest in, uh, in the, what is that, uh, the, the foundry down there, whatever, the factory. Um, so, okay, so <laughs> too much to talk about, too quickly. Uh, so if you noticed on those four different start locations, there were Logi trucks embedded in those, in some of them. So if they start in the one in, in Kilo 2 up here, they get one Logi dump that's pre-dumped before the game starts. The same H4, which is in this area in here. In I7, India 7, which is in this area here, which looks like that might be where they actually picked, they get two dumps. And in Lima 7 over here, they get zero. That's based on the location where it is and tactical advantages and the distance from the home base, because they also get to run Logi as long as they can, right? So their AT team and tank team starts over here in the storage site, and that is that one Crow's Humvee loaded up with a squad leader, two lats, and a medic. So that's quite a bit of firepower. They can definitely punch out, um, you know, if they catch the drop on one of these MTLBs. The interesting thing is there are five MTLBs. That's a, that's a lot of firepower coming down. They're not the BTR-80s or anything like that. And they do have their major downfalls being is that they're slow and extremely loud. So you hear them coming from a mile away, like literally a mile away. So you can't sneak up on them, but with five of them, we'll see. This is a new op. Uh, this is the first time it's been run. We've tested it a few times uh, with you know mixed mixed results on either side. So it, it's going to come down to execution and uh, and tactics here. So sounds like. Oh, the uh, Russians are just uh, about ready to right brief here. Thank They're you. pulling them all in. <laughs> and we'll see what their plan of attack is. Uh, I'll, I'll get one from someone else. <laughs> I'm so excited yes. for you. I, I don't even know why. Oh, Disneyland is so happy. Thanks for joining us here, guys. Coming in from Twitter. Coming in from... Uh, what's that other one? That that you, you site. Some YouTube. <laughs> yep. it's, a, it's a small site. You know, buy stock in it. It might do well. A couple others. Okay. If you got any questions, go ahead and throw them up in the chat. I'll do my best to catch them. Pen might be able to help me there, too. Um, and then, yeah, we'll try to answer any questions people have got. But if I miss it, I apologize. There's a thousand things going on. Paying attention to the stream. Paying attention to Pen telling me where the best shots are. 
Everyone comes trying to, to catch all the action here. Mixer, that's another one. Did I say Twitter? We, have, we also have a Twitter feed, Triton. <laughs> Probably not broadcasting, though. We get it. Are these guys? I thought they were getting together. Okay, here we go. Now they're all grouping up on the north side. So Satan is the command for the Russians on this one. He'll be delivering the brief here shortly. Man, you're eating too many cookies. I don't eat enough cookies. Fuck you. Go get it. Tactical block. everyone else is here. I'm stuck. Miyamoto's a bit lost. <laughs> the fuck kind of wine is this? Yes, look exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm learning you guys. Exactly All right, the same. clear comms. Listen up, everybody. Go ahead and press enter. Open your map. So we have a wide area to cover. We are looking yeah, for fine. clear comms. We are looking for the U.S. COP which they will have two squads in that position, and then a AT team, which we have to look for as well, and an enemy convoy. So how we're gonna do this is, we're gonna have squad two and squad three mounted up in their own MTLVs and a transport truck moving to India three. I'll mark that as a friendly FOB location there. You guys are gonna be staying north. There is a ditch and tree line which you can use to uh, pull onto that location without being seen. Everyone take note though, the MTLB is the loudest vehicle in the game. So don't expect to reach your location uh, all sneaky. Like they're gonna know wh wh where you're at. So just expect contact if you uh, reach and hold down a location. So two and three are gonna hold on that location. Their squad leads are gonna scout out either the location on India, sorry, Kilo two, I'll mark that. Um, or Hotel 4, which are which are two COP locations that they might use. Those are the two locations in the north. So that leaves Squad 1, Squad 4, and myself. We are going to be taking three MTLBs and one transport truck down the D-line towards storage site um, to look for the enemy AT team, marked by the enemy Humvee mark on storage. They're going to be at a fire team strength of two lats and a crow's humvee so that vehicle is um, able to take out at least one mtlb before we destroy it so make sure that the front mtlb is unmanned except for a gunner driver um, the other the other squads will be either mounted up in another mtlb or in a uh, in a transport truck i'm going to be down there on storage as i said with you guys um, so as soon as we clear out those two locations, India 3, storage site, then we're going to, if the COP is not in the north, we're going to have to check India 7 and then Lima 7. So it's, it's just really up to where they've placed it. Um, if we get a lucky draw, it's either going to be on Hotel 4 or on Kilo 2, where we can maneuver and hit them uh, together. But if we do spot enemy, t enemy contacts in the north, 2 and 3 are going to hold their location uh, and wait for the other uh, squads and myself to uh, reach them and, and reinforce. So that is the plan. It's really gonna, we're gonna have to play by ear depending on which, whichever location they uh, they position themselves on. One other note, the, the two squads and myself down in the south um, are gonna have to deal with the enemy convoy if we do find it coming up from US Maine. They do have the chance to resupply their FOB in whichever location it is um, after live. So watch out for two Humvees open top and two logistics trucks. Does anyone have any questions? No questions. One word of uh, note. The, there are four MTLBs that have been spawned into this map. They are fact neutral. So that means if everyone dismounts from that vehicle, it will appear on the map as a neutral vehicle. Um, so the enemy team will see exactly where the MTLB is. Um, also, enemy players can jump into that vehicle and use it against you. So if you have been picked as a gunner or driver, you are not allowed to dismount that vehicle. Okay. Can we have a motivational speech? <laughs> Share a motivational speech. 
Uh, sorry, if, so if we get two hits from the MTLB, just turn off the engine and stay inside? Um, depending on how, how heavy the contact is, if you get hit by two lats and you're in an open field, switch off the engine if you want to, but dismount. Everyone get out of that vehicle. Roger. Except the driver. You're going down the ship. I, Everyone. I say if it's about to blow up, yeah, just dismount that bitch before you kill eight people. Yeah. Affirm. Yeah. If need be, gunner driver can dismount too if it's going to go down in flames. It really doesn't matter if uh, I don't want to lose a uh, driver or another guy if, I, if I'm if i definitely going to lose an MTLB. Copy that. Just kind All of right. uh, or... Since oh. vehicles are limited to crossing bridges and waterways, does that mean that they're probably limited to the, uh, the India 7, uh, Lima 9 bridges, as well as the Mike line all the way to the east in terms of resupplying their FOB? They are, yes. Um, on this map, they don't really have to worry about that. The only waterway they really have is on India 6, um, but they will use the roads um, and any bridges. But yeah, there's not many waterways that they have to really deal with. That's not really a, uh, a situational uh, obstacle they have to work with on this map. Copy. All right, so motivational we... speech. Oh, Delta, you got something? All right. Are we clear to uh, engage any vehicles? that we see, like any enemy vehicles? Um, that's really up to what you see. I'm gonna leave it to the squad leads discretion. If they do see a uh, the enemy co convoy, we have two logistics trucks and two Humvees. I'll say open fire if I do see that. If I see a AT team, I'll say open fire. But if I see a COP, if you guys see a COP, hold fire for that, just get into position before hitting it. Um, so, Copy that. Yeah. Just pull out first year SL, he'll tell me, and I'll uh, I'll give the all clear or or tell him hold fire. All right, so some of you guys want a uh, motivational speech. We are in this area to defend our homeland. The U.S. have placed disgusting capitalist COPs in our beautiful country here. So I'm gonna have you guys take at least ten enemy heads from that COP. Take their heads and make me proud. I'm not really good at motivational speeches. They're planning on building a Walmart there. We got to stop them. Yeah. 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 All right. 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 On three, I want to hear you guys say Mother Russia. On right three, there. ready? Mother Russia. On three. A little group cheer action going on here. <laughs> So it, it should be an interesting plan. Um, I feel like there's two ways to do it, and he's chosen uh, the second way. One way would be have all five MTLBs in one squad, and the second way would be to distribute them evenly amongst the squads. Um, they both have their benefits. We'll see how this one goes. Uh, let's see, I saw a couple questions in there. 21 Pharaoh, CS asking, uh, how do you get into this? How do you register for one of these ops? Well, I'm going to tell you, you go to the squad ops at GG website, check it out. Um, there's one thing you need to do before you get into one of these ops. Uh, on the first Wednesday of every month, we have an open op. But other than that, all the rest of the ops, which are on Wednesday nights, like right now, or there's two ops on Saturdays, uh, you need to go through our basic training first. Uh, SOTT, basic training, it just gets everyone on the same page and makes sure everyone's kind of mature enough to uh, you know, perform in one of these One Life uh, events that we do. It's a fun, it's a good time, it takes about 45 minutes, um, pretty easy, there's nothing terribly complicated, uh, it'll be a review for a lot of experienced gamers, but really it's just, just making sure that everyone's on the same page, the same lingo, good communication skills, all that good stuff, so that's how you get into it, squadops.gg, check it out, calendar there, kind of lays out everything that's coming up, and uh, a bunch of good readmes and stuff, not that anyone ever reads the readmes, but they should, um, but yeah, so gaming, creating, asking what time does this end? So that depends on how long the op actually goes. Generally, ops will run for 45 minutes to an hour. It depends, you know, on the scenario and what's going on. Sometimes it can get down to some really intense cat and mouse 2v2, 3v3 situations. Um, sometimes it's a landslide, you know. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, it's just, it just depends. So we'll see. But usually 45 minutes to an hour. We'll be following that. We'll be following all right, and the Russians are all mounted up. Yeah, I'm gonna need one other MTLP. I'm here in the south. And it looks uh, like, so based up, on my map, oh, sorry, the US uh, team have decided 
to embed in this India again. 7 location. Let's fly over there. And we can throw the overlay up again real quick and go over conditions. All right, here's the US base. So we're gonna wait for Okay, wait, hold up the southern section. Hold up the transfer. Dude, oh fuck. So this All is right, the, yeah, the uh, India 7. India 7 base they've chosen. It's forested and they've already thrown up so I've got some fish eye going on here. Get that bottle back down. Ah! All right. Oh my god. You guys, we lost the MTLB and I went to save it and the Lodgy flipped. What? We had the Lodgy, the transport. Oh motherfucker. Wow. All right. So it looks like we're. Wait. What? Are we live? Did we? Did I okay. miss the live call? Looks like we're live based on the movement of those MTLBs. <laughs> Looks like the Russians might have lost their logic truck. But anyways. <laughs> that is a rough way to start. Um, I, I think we lost I think we lost our MTLB and transport. Uh, Brutal. So they lost a transport and an MTLB somehow. That'll slow the Russians down a little bit, give the US a little bit more time to get some more sandbags up. Here comes the first American convoy and dumping more supplies. Use that, uh, that transport truck. Okay. Uh, which MTLB are we mounting up in? Looks like they're holding that Crows team back. Squad 3? Okay. Or Squad 2 is okay. Waiting for contact, and then they might be going in on a flank with that. I'm assuming that's the, the Crows team. Sounds like a little negligent discharge over here. We got some sandbags going on over here. And this this wooded area is actually. I kind of like it against the vehicles because. They have good range, but they're not going to be able to get up close in here to actually rip the guys out. They can provide good cover fire and suppression, but with all these trees, this cover, this position isn't as bad as it was made out to be. Double wall sandbags going up all over the place. 150 cal in that position. Looks like we got another one. I think they can build up to 450 cal. Second one, facing east. Sorry about that, guys. I tried to save that. Uh, I tried to save the MTLB, and I ended up fucking. More sandbag more. bunkers. You're if you're familiar with our ops, this is the same area that Coyote Ridge is on, which is one of the, uh, that was, my opinion, right one of the main, better infantry think, ops. It's just intense forest <laughs> combat, tree to tree. I think your uh, band got extended to all vehicles. Dude, that's gonna, it's gonna be a highlight though. I wasn't the one who, I wasn't the one who got the MTLB stuck. So you guys are all good in the north there, moving to India 3 now, yeah? Oh, it looks like they got the, uh, We're good. they got them free. No? Alright, we'll wait on for, I see them moving. Copy, we'll make for one, and uh, then we'll, uh, we'll group up here. Oh, the ones just east of Maine are the ones that are screwed. Yep, they have, so they have one flank into the north. And it looks like three down south, maybe four. There's one. One, two, three down here. And a fourth up north. Five flips. Right. That accounts for everything. Server error, driving the truck here. Up on that northern flank. Interesting, in the middle here, the U.S. have a pair of bridge trolls here. A pair of LAT LAT bridge trolls. Waiting for the uh, 
MTLB is to cross this bridge, which is a little ambiguous. There is a rule that the MTLBs on this op need to cross bridges and can't cross water, but there's no water in this dried river. So I don't think they're obligated to cross this bridge, even though it is a lo logical place for them to do it because they're not going to flip over, as we've already seen is, is the case can be the case. Uh, the only water I know of on this map that's significant enough that would warrant not driving across it is the lake to the northeast of the U.S. spawn, kind of up in this area. So the U.S. can kind of assume that just, they've got a little bit of a wall that they don't have to worry about over there. Squad 1, MTLB move east and hold there. East of storage? East of my MTLB. Copy. Let's go check out these MCLBs over here a little bit closer. If I can get over there. Here we go. Here's our metal monsters right here. So loud. They're so loud. Can't even hear myself think over these things. So here we have our MCLB with, uh, you know, nice and slow. Nice and slow, right? Great offense, great defense, capacity of over a squad, right? You get a full squad in here plus a fire team, 13. And it's got that 14.5 millimeter KPVT heavy machine gun on here. So very versatile weapon, um, but I believe it's kind of known as, as trash in normal squad because it's so loud and so slow and it's such an RPG magnet. They just get taken out fairly easily. But with five of them, or four of them, I guess, now, uh, we'll see what they can do. They still got all three together. Copy, how about Hotel 4? Looking now. Oh, it looks like they're dismounting some troops over there. The Russians are dismounting west of storage site. Looks like they might be sweeping through there to see if the uh, LAT team is still in there. Initially, I don't see anything on Hotel 4. I'll keep watching both. Russian scouting out the uh, possible locations. Looks like from up in that bridge in the north, in India 3, they can see the Kilo 2 location. And also, they've got good eyes on the Hotel 4 location. So yeah, this squad up here scouting out their home base and also the All right, four, Hotel 4. One, we are one. We are going to be pulling southwest and then cutting through Central Novo, uh, just to the south of Central Novo. Road so I'm up in your uh, MTLB four and, and pull out west leads. to me, and then we'll uh, we'll mount up and pull out south towards uh, south of Central Novo. Copy. So here we found the Crows Humvee. The U.S. has got it parked out in Central Novo here, using those high walls. It's a great effect here. So this is our Crows Humvee. Good offense, good defense, nice and speedy, not too loud. It's got that Crows system on top with its magnification, which is probably its best weapon in this. So it's a great asset to have, although a little bit outgunned on this one. Definitely going to need to use the Element of Surprise, hit and run. Know where they are, hit them in the back, and then disappear before they get their guns on you, because this thing... We'll sure definitely get chewed up if it comes into a head-on engagement. But you throw a pair of lats in there, and uh, that can be probably a three-second kill. Two lats two fire off, 15-20 rounds, that thing will blow up an MTLB, no problem. Yeah, it's quiet here. Copy. I'm going to scout it out. I'm going to have you both mount up in your MTLB and... Satan leading the convoy here in the MTLB. He is command. I guess we can go over command re commanders and squad leaders real quick. They are definitely key here in all of our ops. You can't have a good op without good leadership. So, for the Russians, which we are following, they're going to be blue uh, through my eyes. We've got command is Satan. And then we've got Nasty Nate. Server error, 404. Silent Death and Odessa as the squad leads. 
And then for the U.S. on defense, we've got what? Who's command over there? Why are they not in their own squad? Interesting. That's a first. Did we catch who command was on the U.S.? There is a trench on. It's, it's basically mm. tier Anyways, so it could be shadowed possibly, but anyways, squad leaders uh, looking like Best Pony, Sightless, Larue, Expit, and Shadowed Ritual. So everyone's experienced squad leads. We don't just let anybody in the squad lead. You've got to uh, be either staff or what's known as a regular. Uh, and we're soon implementing a uh, small unit leadership course that you're going to need to take before you are a candidate for being a squad lead. And we got that column just going back and forth, resupplying the MTLB. position. But it looks like the MTLBs are sneaking, sneaking. Say again, too. <laughs> Slowly slithering their way around okay. to cut off the U.S. supply column. Two okay, is just up there waiting. One. Vehicles. Sounds like the so Russians just be, saw the, the vehicles. Copy that. Those are so loud, so I can't, can't, can't even be around them. Sure I can't hear my, comms. My, uh, MTLB. See if we can hit this main road to east. Look like four Vicks. Yeah, they call out four Vicks, which is one. Yeah, I so think that's accurate. Two Humvees and two Lodgies. Here we go. Yeah, mind, dude. Just watch where they oh, go. maybe... I think Best Pony's in yeah, command okay. for the U.S. Which All right, guys, stay in line is interesting because he's running a full squad. Maybe that's the logistics convoy? So two and D, you can hold there. Just watch where they go. If we see them, we're going to have the MPLB open up. Uh, squad. All right, we should have some contact here. These vehicles, MTLB is going to be clashing with the U.S. convoy here. Although I would say the U.S. team can just barely hear them. That scout team. Let's see if they can. There, they'll be crossing the road here shortly. It sounds like U.S. is calling out the uh, tracked vehicles on the south. They're definitely seeing them drive by. And they've opening up. It's probably premature. That, home, those, that column just flies by. Yeah. So that'll probably be the last no, combo the U.S. sends down that main road. They might swoop sure. all the way around. I guess that's it for the lodging run. Yeah, but this is a, a 10,000 Calling out probably the India 7 uh, location okay. here, which is correct. Hey, Remus, you might want to get down. So we have this two-man element in Central Novo. Command, we've got a uh, MTLB fire far north. Like, we're talking like H3 far north. Red peril and torched. Alright, command, we have uh, distance. We'll hopefully try to just hide. In here. Yeah, we've got we got an MTLB to the uh, the north also. That is a lat. H3, fine from the bridge. A pair of lats? That's a pair of lats. Server error crossing that bridge in the north looks like uh, Russians are mobilizing that third squad element, seeing if they can uh, flank around. The U.S. have sequestered all of their vehicles over on this uh, Juliet 8-9 location, the base of this hill. 
I guess they're gonna try to get one more run in here, but sneak it through the woods. One and four, let me know when you're set and you can uh, push in the central node. This convoy is those two open top Humvees and two Lodgies. Squad one is set, push again. Copy. And they should be able to sneak around no problem, as long as they do it fast. Looking at the map. There's a Humvee east side of Central. Oh, let's get back in there. Looks like we're gonna have Copy. some uh, potentially some action in here. That two-man element in in Novo is gonna be real close. Don't push up too hard. And that Crows is gonna come into contact with that MTLB here. Yep, there we go. He should be able to get that kill, no problem. MTLB is firing back into the blind. One down. Boom. This hill. This. Hill. Like this uh, uh fence here Copy. that's Just brutal good luck seeing that, and get your last ready for that look at that Oof, great positioning those high walls Let's see how good the russians are at clearing house to house because they don't know it but they are within spitting Copy distance two, of these three. two guys i want you to pull through uh lower Petrivka. So use, use oh. the buildings on uh, Hotel 4 use your vehicles through uh, towards the lower location. You said three, where are we pulled over to? Sorry, there was a lot of, a lot of noise on the MTV. Okay. Yeah, seize uh, observation. How did he get wounded? Mount up on both your vehicles and po pull through uh, Petrivka. Get set up in lower um, Petrivka. You mean two and three? Three, three only has the, uh, has the one vehicle. Drops one. One left over here. Yeah, yeah. Hoping for that bullet penetration through those light fences. West, 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 this is nasty, Nate squad. Yeah, one guy running away. Uh, one four. Can I get a sit rep? Uh, uh four is engaging in the uh, infantry uh, towards our west. We still got that crows over here. Copy. Just got hold down in a good location. Squad one, keep clearing north. The Russians do have plenty of lats in their like, uh, the arsenal here, so this Crows is definitely not impervious. Good positioning will keep it alive. Ooh, Crows drops one. Humvee sounds like north. Copy. My AT is eyes on the Humvee. All right, if you can get kills, uh, hit with that. Who is get, this? Uh, Sightless. So really good. Like Sneaking up behind him. This crow is about to get flanked. Okay. Maybe. Does he see him? There we go. Now he sees him. One and four. Just right? take it slow. Right. Um. Did he see that? Squad four yeah. only. Uh, Should have been able strong. to. Uh, we have the Humvee, uh, uh, the Crows Humvee pinning us down. Where is it? Um, it looks like it's uh, northeast of our position. Or, um, uh, more east, I guess. It's got that fence behind him, oh, protecting okay. him from RPGs. That's brutal. Yeah, Unintentional RPG. RPG fence, I love it. Yeah, it was holding that road, in, uh, that central freeway, and it took out our MTLB, and then it took out one of our oh, other guys. Oh, 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 oh. Cop. That was wise not to engage the uh, infantry that was... Oh, Crows mows down another. Silverman, one of our cameras. This this high brick fence is just killing them. Brick fence, brick wall. Or use your uh, MTLB to try and peek that... Uh, that uh, this one Crows, crows is holding off the, the entire line. southern flank. Okay, cop, that's one. Just make sure your lats are... Crows is feeling the heat. He knows they're creeping in on him, so he's bailing. Oh! Good hit! Wow. From the roof. That was an excellent shot. So that hit is permanent. There is no repairing. 
squad in the open. Just two hits, don't be down. Uh, that was definitely not a hit. Russian team called out, that's two hits, Humvee down, but that shot was about 400 meters short. Now he's picked another another fence to just peek over the top of and look down this road. Excellent gunning here by this Crows. Meanwhile, back at the main base, sounds like we've got some long distance sparring going on here. And look at this sandbag fortress. Just hold a good location. We're waiting on two and three. Copy. We got barbed wire. We've got machine guns. We've got double high sandbags. We've got grenade traps. We've even got Hescos up to fill the gaps. The only thing they don't have is infinite ammo. So they can get resupplied for those machine gun emplacements, but that Humvee can run out. Because we, on this op, there's no vehicle resupply. They could be building a mortar if they wanted to. And really, why wouldn't you want to build a mortar? I mean, there's really no position where a mortar is a bad idea. Okay, I'm just saying that because I fucking love mortars. I think they're most, the most cinematic thing in this game right now. Put those effects on ultra high. Oh, man. So gorgeous. Especially when you're watching in spectator mode. Copy. Juliet 9 4. Understood, that would make sense. Unless that's a blown up MTLB. I expect calling out some possible contact there. All right, guys, I don't think I there's think anything over there where he thinks there is, though. This is some Juliet 9 4. Um, it's just sitting there. I don't know if it's a blown up or not. I haven't. I didn't see it before. When the, the only thing I would do extra on these is add double layers on some of these sandbags because those MTLBs will penetrate one layer of sandbags. Doesn't do a ton of damage, but it's enough. But if you build that second layer of sandbags, they're impervious. Oh, this one has them. Granted, you can blow up sandbags now, not with machine gun fire, but. Uh, Is that Crow's still posted up over here? Crow's is still posted up. Um, it was in one time enemy lad. That's probably part of the uh, strike team. Hyper, moving. Hyper sees some sandbags in there. Alex, sounds like the Russians are zeroing in on exactly where the U.S. base is. I'm about to take somebody out. He's just chilling on top of a rock. Do it. One MTLB firing in on that. We got a machine gun bunker and a Humvee. Firing in on that MTLB, getting good hits on it. I can return fire. We need to get closer for you. Yeah, they're getting out of there, power sliding out, disappearing into the woods. That distance is tough to see what's going on. Of course, we get to see these overlays, but they don't. So, all these machine gunners see is woods. And occasionally tracer fire coming out of the woods. Let's see if we can even spot the MTLB from here. With our extreme zoom vision. I know it's over there somewhere. Some infantry. 
Got nothing on it. We're just, we're just holding. We're She'd only, be uh, right four strong. We have, uh, in there. Uh, so the MG, uh, so they, 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 we have a grid for the enemy MGs. If you guys are, let me, uh, let me, let me get it real quick. What are the, what's the grid again? I'm looking They're at. They're right calling him out with his binos. That is one of the massive and very important roles of squad leaders. Is using that glass to find out where enemies are. Individual infantry or entire squad doesn't matter. So, because if no one has optics and we don't allow people to have optics on these, so no riflemen with ACOGs, no marksmen. Um, the squad leaders with glass are so key on scouting. When I do, I'll just have you like somewhat move out and open more. So but in general, so it looks like the U.S. So there's a get, kind of getting sandwiched here. I got you. The question's gonna be is, does do the Russians have enough force to clamp down on both sides? I feel like they can't get anywhere anywhere close with their vehicles at this point. This has got to be an infantry operation with vehicles covering. Just make sure Especially they're down two out of five. Of course, the U.S. only thinks they're down, down one, but we know that they're down two out of five MTLBs. So they've only got three heavy guns to cover. The U.S. has, what, three, four, depending on the direction that the U.S., that the Russians are going to come in on. And plenty of lats left. I know they've lost two or three infantry lats. But with two per squad, that's eight, plus the extra two from the uh, anti-tank team, that's ten lats. Kind of a lull right now. Plenty of chatter going on, but it feels like the Russians can't figure out how they want to crack this nut. The Googler, this yeah, game has been going on for, I would say, what, 20, 25 uh, minutes so far? We've had eight casualties on the Russian side, one on the U.S. But the major losses on the Russian side have been those two MTLBs. One to, uh, we'll call it mechanical failure. You know, those Russian machines, they're not super reliable. And then one to enemy fire, so. So far, that Crow's Gunner has got my, MTL, my uh, MVP of the game here. That positioning. Might be the squad leader calling it out, but. Hey, uh, is your uh, MTLBB going to U.S. have this cover phalanx of uh, 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 sandbag bunkers and We're out, We're just set on these rocks here? The only, only thing I don't like about this, these positions that this U.S. squad has taken here is, say they do get pinned down. Say they lose their fire superiority and they actually get pinned down. Where can they retreat to? absolutely nowhere right they have to get lucky they have to deploy all their smokes and then run backwards up a hill with no cover so while they're in great cover where they are i personally would be very antsy if my squad lead ordered me to be in one of these positions uh, unless you know you've got a huge team behind you and you're not going to lose fire superiority this is a uh, a tenuous spot on this ri this particular ridge the one behind it is great And if you're checking out the map, it looks like that Crows is flanking around behind the Russians now. Doing a wide flank through their base. Trying to catch... That's that's a kind of a risky move. That Crows can't survive very well on its own. If it's got really good positioning, it does great. But in an open field, if it gets caught moving, oof, better keep that speed up. We'll see how it does. Which movie needs to be? Yeah, Ritual seeing server here. 
Copy. We got an MTB north of my scout. Spotting position. the squad down here. We got a uh, north. Keep it 360 on Gulf 7, keep at 6. Just stay in that location, stay in cover. So we're not allowed to cross. I know in normal squad you can cross that lake, no, well, no problem. Well, you know, if anyone's looking at you, you're screwed if you're crossing that lake. But there's actually nothing stopping you from doing it. But we impose some restrictions, and one of them on this map is going to be can't cross rivers, can't cross water. So this U.S. defensive team knows that they can't uh, can't come straight across that, although there's plenty of cover to go around it and get into the woods on their east side. Or even straight up the middle, but they do have a nice open field. This is a good... It's a good kill field in front of them. It's just, man, just don't lose that fire superiority. If the Russians could get mortars, yeah. Oof. Your MTLB location is good. Um, what we're going to do is four, if you can, pull south back to one, and then link up with the... Shadow calling them out to the northeast. It's just that, uh... In, in cover to one. What the Sorry. remainder of a squad here coming up through those woods. All right, guys, stay, stay in some tree cover. From their perspective, they're coming up on the edge here. They are going to see all those sandbags. Yeah, he's got his glass out. Did you he should be able to see... See if we can't get a slight peek of what he's going to see here. If he can stand still for a minute. This is always dangerous, being first and running up without a weapon. I'm definitely guilty of it. Because he's about to enter the kill zone of the U.S. Uh, like, right now. <laughs> oh, buddy. How? Sandbags? You might want to stop. Or at least look at them. Come on, server. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy... The Russians have got to be like, ah. Uh... Excuse the U.S. have got to be like, ah, uh, there's a drunk... There's a drunk Russian wandering at, towards us. Should we should we shoot at him? Eyes on, eyes on, eyes on, eyes on. <laughs> Contact close north. Light he's got a good zigzag light. dodge pattern going on. He's being very erratic. There we go. Contact. <laughs> Get to the trench. Get to the trench. Get to the trench. Jay Remick lighting him up. He takes one in the shoulder. <laughs> that vodka, man. Woo. That's how to lead from the front right there. Maybe how not to. <laughs> now they're in a ditch. Yeah. Thurman Merman with that RPG. Maybe not the best choice of weapons. Get that frag round out. Get those uh, overlays back on so we can see where everybody is. Hopefully these guys realize they just ran into the entire American team and they're not actually going to try to push across this field. Smoke's good. This is a good distraction. And then, uh, actually I think that's exactly what's happening here. These guys are distracting. And the rest of the Russian team is going to from the west and the south. Speaking of, looks like those bridge trolls These bridge trolls over here that we saw are uh, pretty pretty close here. They might have seen one cross. Oh yeah, yeah, he's got one lined up right here. This is some discipline. Who's that? Volka. You don't know how close you are to dead, Volka. <laughs> Just don't look right. As soon as you look right, you're dead. Oh, and they can hear that MTLB. That is a rough spot to be in for these two, because they know as soon as they fire, either the rifles or AT, that whole squad is going to come down on them like a ton of bricks. So they might get the rounds out. They might even kill the MTLB. But they're going to die for sure. So they might think about just chilling, letting this squad pass over, and then hitting them in the ass. 
Still got that crows up in the far north Copy. for the U.S. Scouting it out, waiting for a good time to swoop in. One MTLB coming over this way to back up this squad. These guys are in such a tenuous position. Grimble goes too far. He's going to give them away. He goes another three feet. Where is this MTLB? I can hear it. There it is. Satan's trying to coordinate all this. Have everybody push at the same time. I really want these bridge trolls to work out. I really want to, but I'm pretty sure they're going to get found and just executed. They might get one or two kills, but that's my gut. What's going on, Matthias? Welcome. Glad you could join us. Only drop smoke if it looks like you're going to be hit by enemy contact. Is that our vehicle? Like any emplacements? No, no vehicles north. Or if you're on the open. Enemy vehicle to our. Yeah, destroy man. Uh, asking why is no one using mortars here? Uh, the U.S. could build mortars on defense. The Russians do not have a logi to build any, or else it would be uh, pretty overpowered, in my opinion. They know exactly where the U.S. are, and they have all the mobility. So, but the the U.S. They could build one. Pretty sure it's uh, available in the rules. I'm surprised they didn't I, as soon as I leave these guys, they're gonna they're gonna get found. So like hovering over them as their guardian yeah. angel here. It's very true. Ooh, ooh, so close. Just in death <laughs> The Russians can smell the Americans. They're looking right over here. Perfect. Okay. If that Humvee comes at you, go ahead and use lat on it. I'm probably going to have you wait there for any vehicles moving. And wait for two and uh, one to push in first before you move. MTLB is moving. Are these guys switching to their lats? Are you able I wish we could hear the American chatter right here. Local voice chat. Oh, man. There's one coming out of the bridge. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's not looking at him. Now he sees him. Maybe. There we go. All right, bridge trolls have been found. Maybe. None of the Russians are responding to that. Uh, Jenkins? We just lost Harry. Shut up. No one liked Harry. Keep keep watching your direction. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, okay. Battlefield awareness. Uh, I'm gonna give them a D on that one for this Russian squad. Maybe one of them is looking this way. They heard those shots. There's no mistaking that. They're definitely an M4. Okay, there we go. Silence finally saying, "Oh, we lost a guy." They're not everyone, not just one person. Crows has moved around to the west side. Oh, that was clever. Still a distance. I like it. I shot a blue out. Oh. Uh, road, road. Oh, 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 wow. Immune style. Walking right by them. Look at these guys. Did you locate their COP? Uh, where did these guys come from? It's a whole squad. It's a whole fucking squad. <laughs> uh, Grimble. Grimble and Gonzo. All right, all my guys are Fucking solid snake MVPing this shit. Get your cardboard box out. <laughs> Get your lat out and shoot the middle of that. Like, that's four kills with one lat right there. <sighs> Gonzo is sweating bullets right now. He's like, don't turn. Don't do it. Oh, good. He's turning away. Don't turn. Don't turn. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, buddy. <Ooh. 
Oh, wow. Wow. Fucking brilliant. Oh, he got spotted. Conzo goes down. Oh, wow. That was a that was a pretty good spot. Through all the brush. Now maybe yeah, maybe they think he's gone. Oh no, nope. it wasn't a confirmed kill. Blaze of glory, Grimble. Oh, he fires the rocket, but it hits the tree in front of him, and he gets taken down. Oh, well, that was that was a tense moment right there. That's know your weapon. Was he? Oh, he was shooting at the MTLB, trying to sneak it over this tree. It would have been a good shot, but unfortunately, clipping errors for the loss. Oh, right. But the Humvee, the crows, lighten that thing up. Crows takes it probably 80% of the way down. No one returns fire. Crows lighting up some infantry there. That Crows has his entire, what is this, two full squads pinned. And this Crows has taken one shot. So it's gotta be careful. But it, at this distance, He's being wise. He's made his presence known. He's done his damage. Wounded in infantry. Damn near took out that MTLB. He's ghosting. Good choice. Hit him from a different side. Our AT team is fucking doing work with that Crows. Let's they see what happened to that. Uh, it was smoking. It is hurt. That it's element here. Oh, it looks like they've made it under the changing. MSR here. Two, how you doing? And this ravine. More, more bridge trolls. Apparently, this, this map's all about the bridges and the trolls. We'll probably Humvee Northwest. Uh, I'll be hiding out. For it. I couldn't hear it. But let's try to keep chat pretty clear so we can. This time it's the it. U.S. hiding. Excuse me, this time it's the Russians hiding, not the US. Still got his RPG out. But does he know that that's not good against infantry? Because, uh. You should probably let him know, Rose Dragon. Get that frag round out, or your rifle. Because you're going to hear the vehicles coming. And you might want to be upright, because leaning over is. That'll give you back problems later in life. Or we are going to move close to the road here and hold before it. So the teams have gotten real close to each other, to each other, but there's been no major conflicts yet. It's been all small units, a little bit of crows peppering here and there. Crows has retreated back to its India 3 bridge location. What's with the bridges? Everything's on the bridges. This is a map with no fucking rivers and everything's on bridges. Copy. Let's have this. Is that Odessa's uh, Vic in the south there? A firm. Have your yeah. big hold there. Okay. okay. Satan's got great communication here, but he's just got a tough nut to crack. With U.S. The, uh, just consolidated in the middle. Let's see if we can hit them a couple on, uh, exceptions, but. Wow. They're just bristling with machine guns, pointing every direction. Hey, a Bravo Fire Team, move southeast. Squad 2, be advised they're directly south of your paws. We got, we got uh, contact within 50 meters south here. Oh, uh, cancel current orders. Confirm. 50 meters south. Yep. Command. Command. Looks like we got a little, little Russian it's squad it's here sneaking right. around to the south side. It's a small right. element. Just wait on the, uh, Five guys here. Who is this? Nasty Nate. They are nasty. And Satan himself. Satan himself. Command. <laughs> Command himself is down here with this fire team. Uh, they've definitely spotted, and they've got a fire team moving up on them. Shooting now is putting tracers on. It is 159. Expert sees that MTLB. Actually, maybe chasing the crows out there trying to hit 
this. Man, this this uh, Russian fire team is in a in a tough spot here. They're coming up against two full squads that are embedded behind the sandbags here, with a flanking squad, flanking fire team coming in on their side. Looks like they've already lost one. Yes. Foreign uh, commencement contact. Oof, these poor guys. All right, yeah, they've got to find some different way to approach this. Right now, they've got a small element to the north, a small element to the south, and their main body to the west. Looks like they've got an MTLB in reserve over here to the southeast. Here, it's starting to fire now. Got good distance here. Question is... Yeah, he's got a Humvee over there and a 50 cal. Two Humvees and a 50 cal looking his way. It's pretty scary. It is a good position up here. You can see, you can see in, in those trees, poking around. Sees most of the... You know, there's their uh, logic. You could probably take that out if you wanted to. Googler is asking who's winning. At this point, I would have to give it up to the U.S. That crow's flanking around, hitting this MTLB in the ass. Oof. Getting some good hits. That is some extreme range right there. MTLB is hightailing it. Hiding in the woods. The natural habitat of the MTLB. That that crow is just having great battle sense. It just knows where to be, knows where to look. MTLB moving around, creating a distraction here. Pretty sure the U.S. can hear that. They're watching my location, but trying to push it. It's Satan. It's just Satan and one other guy down here. He's got a full team coming up, full full squad coming up on his east side. Hopefully that MTLB can keep him at bay. At least he can get out of there, because right now, oh, that's not even Satan. Where? Oh, Satan retreated all the way back into the MTLB. Okay, good. At least, at least command is out of there. We've got Riot Expert and V44N, who are very close to being cut off here and soon to be executed from their east. Oh! Oh no! It sounds like it sounds like the crows got flipped over there. Might be able to human jack it out of there, but uh, that's too bad. One of you down. Sightless torched and boy man, giant boy man, Where? evacuating that Humvee. Where's front? Where's front? Lost front? another Humvee back at base is what we're hearing. So it sounds like the Russians are finally starting to crack the nut. I can't, okay, I can't right see here. him. I can't see him. I just ran him over. Okay, back it up. I can't see him. I can't aim down that far. U.S. fire team on the uh, southeast approaching yeah, on that MTLB under cover of the stop, woods. Stop. Negative. All right, squad line All right. facing west. Now we're getting into it here. West. Copy. So this Russian squad and a half kind of has a light layer of U.S. all the way around it. They got two guys to their north. They got two guys to their south and the entire U.S. team to their east. Oop, here we go. These guys are, uh, 
in a precarious spot. They got some cover, some concealment. But that's a heavy asset right in front of him. Oh, and this is a lat, so he's he's gonna put one in. I don't know why he hasn't yet. That the shots don't don't get much easier than that, dude. Oh, he was waiting for coordination. Nice work. Two lats go out. I love being in that position where you've got the shot lined up and you're just like, come on, dude, get your shit together. I want to fire this. That Russian squad was just to their north. Saw where those shots came out. Keep going, keep going, keep Putting going. some We're suppression good. down. Another one right in the ass. That MTLB is four. down, so that's... Right was that three down? That right there, that's what I'm for. Stop. Was that low? Maybe four? Yeah. We just got the one left down in the south? Yeah, I'm taking fire from the It's gonna be hard to cross this road. This enemy vehicle has this road dialed in. Great job by these two LATs. Alright, let's keep walking. It's out of audio now. We got 15 KIA on the Russian side and 8 on the US. MTLB firing on the US position here. I'm not gonna lie, I just shot myself. I'm sure you did. Wait, hold on, wait, what? This US, this US guy, who is this fulcrum, got himself positioned cheekily behind this MTLB. I don't know what he's waiting for. He can't do anything to it. Maybe he's just hoping someone jumps out of it and can shoot him in the back. I wonder if he snuck up there, if the thing drove over him, more or less. Got a full squad just to his south. That vehicle has his held in on the road. Where's this vehicle at? We're also trying to get closer with this hook. He's directly east of squad one across the road, behind Sandbag. Oh, so I was mistaken. The Russians have two MTLBs left, because we still got that Let's one. See. Head fucking straight east. Just to our, what, southwest, and then this one here, which the US know pain are painfully aware of its presence. Oof, pushing in, unsupported, this MTLB. This is a ballsy maneuver right here. Uh, the US have plenty of LATs left, and he is... He is right up in their business. There it goes. I don't know who made that call, but... Uh, I'd say that was a, that was a poor choice. Aotis Luke, can he open the door and stab whoever's inside? Wouldn't that be nice? Or you can get up real close and shove a grenade in the tailpipe or something? I feel like the Russian assault here is, while it's getting close, it's, man, they're losing by attrition. They just don't have the numbers to assault this position. They're going to try to smoke the road and then get across, but they're, they're running into a front fire team and then a full squad behind them. We still got this LAT squad hiding in these rocks. Full U.S. squad in a line coming out. Squad 2. Yes. To join this LAT squad. Roll up the Russians from the south. One and more MTLB goes down to that U.S. defense line. What was that, a uh, open top? Yep, uh, it's open top. 
So they got one left. Yeah, I'm gonna drop smoke on the road south, and we're gonna pull east. Three. Yeah, I feel like the Russians are just getting picked apart here. Everyone is contained in this area at this point. Got that lovely purple smoke, some blue smoke joining it. Here we go, the Russians might be trying to push across here. It's gonna get real exciting. For a couple of good luck, everybody, he says, as he rushes out. Bonds eye. Running straight into that sandbag line. Gets across. Who is that? V44N makes it. Odessa, prone in the road, smoking under, excuse me, bandaging under cover of smoke. Riot giving moral support. What are you looking at her for? Like, <laughs> ugh, come on, you gotta get off the road. And here comes the counter push for the Americans pushing across the other side of the road. <laughs> Grenades going off in that sandbag bunker. Another grenade off. I love those sandbags exploding. Wounded in a couple of the US. Oh, executed close range. It's a chappy getting it done. Gets another one. Uh, Coming up close. Finish it off. Gets one more. Can he get the third? Yeah, yeah there he goes. Yeah. Chappy with the quad kill right there. I think this is the last of you uh, Russian element here. Getting surrounded. So this is where spacing is important. If we look in the center of our screen here, we see uh, pretty much a full squad, which two good grenades would take the entirety of them out. Always want to be careful of that. Speaking of grenades, here comes one. Get the kill. Good grenade. Ooh, team kill there. Sneaky sniper. Whoops. Another grenade going off. That was a good lob. Gets in there, damages both those guys. More grenades. So if you can throw grenades and hit people, they can throw them back. So watch your spacing in here, guys. Still, those three guys, put one right in the middle of this brush, they're all gone. This is true, Tokai. They don't have a lot of hardcover elsewhere, but they do have this huge field to their side with plenty of concealment. And concealment can be just as good as cover. Copy. Oh, well, okay, fuck. Just tell me what are we go down go. here? Down two here. We got one, two, three, four, maybe five left. So Jack had us kind of in the four. Dark. Like I just uh, bled out right in front of us. I'm north across the road, direct to my west. Just be careful if you cross him, you try to get to the rocks where I am if you can. Alright, I'm set, come on over, Lon. Expert crossing the road here, getting trying to get dirty. Wants a piece of his action. Rico coming up. Alright, I'm gonna bring this up to support. Stash down. Rico picks one up. Looking for the second. Wounds picks up the second. Might need a grenade though. Nope, grenade's far. What do we got? One left. Just one lonely Russian. Totally Thurman Merman. Totally circled by the US at this point. 
He's got his RPG out. Oh! Gets a good hit! Can he kill the crows? Will it go up in flames? He's going for it. Oh! Oh! Wow! That was vicious. That's a lot of blood right there. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a face left anymore. <laughs> wow! That is a way to end that one. <laughs> well, that was... Operation Metal Monsters, one of our new ops for this month. All, uh, I guess, spooky ops, Halloween, whatever you want to call it. Uh, anyways, I am Tedish. That was our one round for the... Uh, that was just the first round? That was the first round. Wow. Started out a little slow. Got very intense later on, so we're going to take a break, and we're going to go to round two. I'm going to grab a quick bite to eat, and uh, we'll be back in a couple minutes here.